this is Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna do another Q&A Tuesday, and this is one of the most requested, like questions videos that I've ever gotten, and I'm gonna be talking about how to stay cold slash how to stay warm in your car. So as most of you guys know, I travel basically full time, and so I live in my car because it just makes it easier that way, and so I sleep in that back seat right over there. So this video is gonna be kind of weird. It's gonna be very like all jumbled up because I already actually recorded this video, but the first half of the video, I thought that it would be light enough because I did it at night, but it was not light enough. And so you're gonna see the second half of the video that I already recorded, but I'm going to re-record the first half now. So anyway, just wanted to talk about how to sleep when it's really, really hot out and how to sleep when it's really, really cold. So I'm gonna start with the cold because it's kind of quicker. So just to kind of preface all this, I generally don't sleep where it's way too cold or way too hot. I generally kind of go like where the weather takes me you know and so during the summer I kind of go where it's a little bit cooler and vice versa for the winter but there's obviously times where it is too warm at night and too cold at night and I still want to be in that place or I kind of get caught somewhere and so when it's too cold at night honestly first of all again if you can don't sleep where it's 20 degrees and don't sleep where it's 100 degrees, you know? But when it's cold, honestly, the main thing that I do is I have a zero degree sleeping bag. I have a Kelty Cosmic sleeping bag that I am obsessed with and it's zero degree, which means it'll keep you alive in zero degrees, but it'll keep you comfortably warm at about 30 degrees and warmer. I used it the other day in Yellowstone and it was, it was probably like 40 or so and I was totally fine. And so if it's cold in the car, if it's 30 or 40 in the car and you use a zero degree sleeping bag or a 15 degree sleeping bag or something like that, it will keep you warm. Um, and then honestly, just kind of the normal things of put socks on put a hat on um, kind of just like bundle up as much as you can but that zero degree sleeping bag really has helped me a lot that's kind of all the advice I have I really feel like that's all that I do there's also those like hand warmers that you can buy um, that you like shake or rub together or whatever and they get really really warm um, read the instructions on those because some of them or most of them you can't actually touch directly to your skin so it's like put it you know like put a pair of socks on and then put that and then put another pair of socks to hold it in or something like that but yeah that's kind of all I really do when it's too cold again Again, I don't generally sleep in my car when it's really, really cold, but there are definitely times that I have, and that's really all that I do. So when it's too warm, which has been much more common for me, um, and that is more of your questions. What do you do when it's warm, especially since it's summer in America right now? If it's above like 70 at night, it's too warm for me. A lot of the times, honestly, with cold and with warm, I know I'm talking really fast today. I know, I know. Even faster than normal, I feel like. So one of the things I wanna tell you guys that honestly like might seem kind of crazy or ridiculous or stupid is that I just kind of like deal with it a lot of times when it's too cold or too hot. I just kind of deal with it and I get the best sleep that I possibly can. And I'm pretty comfortable in the back, so I do generally get pretty okay sleep. But so anyway, when it's too hot, I might recommend getting like a little plastic baggie and putting ice in it. Like you can go to a truck stop or a McDonald's or something, get ice. Um, usually it's free or like 35 cents or something. Put it in a little baggie or in like a water bottle or something and put it, you know, like on your legs or on your feet or on the back of your neck. I do not, oh, this is a very common question. I do not sleep with my car on, whether it's too warm or too cold. I do not sleep with the car on but there have been times where I'll turn the car on for like a few minutes to get some air or some heat, but I do not sleep with the car on. I do not sleep with the window open. Again, just, I don't know. I don't really feel safe doing that. Um, also, I don't like bugs, <laughs> and so I don't sleep with the windows open. But um, when it's too warm, what else do I do? nothing honestly like really really nothing I just kind of deal with it so, so the second part of this video that I said I already recorded is me testing out some like fans like personalized little fans in the back seat of my car I did it at nighttime right before I went to sleep and so I'm gonna cut over to that footage now um, because honestly those really really did help I never used them before because again I am very just one of those people who just kind of like waits it out um, I'm not someone who needs to be super 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 comfortable um, um, like I'm someone who will go to sleep in jeans. It is a little bit more difficult. So the first thing that I got is this Elite Misting Fan from, I don't know what brand. Oh, O2 Cool. Um, this is the last one they had left at that Target I was at. And it takes like two AA batteries and then it has like a, like a fan thing. So we're gonna try that one out. We're gonna try this teeny one out, the Sport Misting Fan. Is it by the same company? Yeah, they might all be by the same company. Um, so this is just a little one that has a little thing. And then I also got batteries. They all take batteries, obviously. Then I also got the same brand, O2 Cool, the Deluxe Necklace Fan. So it's just like a teeny little fan. Okay, so the last thing that I got is the Honeywell Portable Folding Fan that goes by battery, USB, or electric powered. And so we're going to try that one as well. And so I do have um, also, where is it? One of these little things. This does nothing. This is, uh, uh, actually, hold on, I'm lying. I'm being hard on it. It helps a little. It helps like 
like a little bit. So like if you have one of these, that's, you know. And I also just bought um, a, I think it's in here. This video is so informal. Sorry if you hate it. So I also bought this little fan that connects to your phone. Let me show you this thing. Here, sit there for a second. Wow, the best angles, I'm so professional. So it has an, um, an iPhone and an Android one. And you just like plug it in and then watch, ready? Isn't that so cool? So that, oh, actually that is much stronger than that other one. Like than this one. This one is much stronger than that. This one's pretty nice. I feel like I'm telling like a weird ghost story with this flashlight. This one's pretty nice. Um, but I don't know how much it like wastes your battery. I don't know, oh wait. Why did it just drast, why did it just stop? What just happened? What just happened? Does it only go for 10 seconds at a time? Huh, that's weird. I don't know why that did that. Now I'm curious to see what happens again. Yeah, this one's pretty good, guys. This one's pretty good. This was $5, so this, I have no idea where I got this, because it's just been, like, it's been in my possession for a while, don't know where I got it, but this one, I got at Nordstrom Rack for like $5. Oh, maybe when you touch it, it stops. I'm not sure, regardless. I like this, and then it was $5, and that is much more powerful than this. So now, let's, which ones should we start out with? Should we go like little to big maybe? So let's try this deluxe necklace fan first. Come on. You guys. Okay, we did. Okay, how's the lighting? Horrible, great, fantastic. I feel like sometimes the camera picks it up and then sometimes it doesn't. What do we put you there? Is that better or worse? Also, when was the last time you used batteries? It has been a while for me, like a legit while. Okay, so this is just a fan, but it's like a necklace, so let's put this on my neck. Okay. First of all, I need this to be much higher. Okay, it has like a little like adjustable thing in the back so you can have it closer. This is pretty nice. This is pretty good. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm all right with this. It's a little weird like where it's hitting I kind of want it like I mean you could just hold it too obviously yeah I'm kind of yeah I'm all for that okay cool so that one works now let's try this little one the little mister fan oh this one has a little carabiner that's handy oh this is already gone okay calm down where do I put water in Oh, it has like a little like super soaker thing. You guys know, it's not even super soaker. Like the little water guns that they have like the, this plasticky thing and it pops up. Okay, so I have some water here and let's, oh wow, I'm gonna make it a super mess. Okay, that holds a little bit. Okay, now close this thing. Water is getting everywhere. I'm totally okay with that. It is very warm. Okay, now turn the fan on. Pretty decent. Now. Do I just like press the, oh, <laughs> it just is literally a water gun. Can you see that? Like, I'm gonna kind of shoot it like, can you see that it's just a water gun? Oh yeah, this is my favorite one. Especially that like, put really cold water in it. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. It's already dying. Never mind. <laughs> Okay, I mean, you could still just use it as a water gun <laughs> and then put this one on. <laughs> That's a lot of steps, but but it's good to have a water gun on a carabiner, I think, you know? Yeah, why is it just dead already? What the heck? Do a little spin the battery around. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Okay, I approve of this one. I really, really approve of that one. Now let's, I kinda wanna save this one for last. Okay, so let's try this one. So this is just a portable little fan. There is, okay, so I've seen it in Target and I've seen it um, somewhere else. REI, I think. 
Also, this one comes with bubble wrap, so. Um, I, oh, I'm gonna run out of space. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, cool. Okay, so, what was I saying? Something about this fan. Oh, 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 that I saw in Target and in REI, there is a little portable fan that you can put into a cup holder. I did not buy that one because I read really, 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 really bad reviews on it um, on like all the sites like that I could find like Amazon and everything. It just said that it was really, really loud and that it the fan like wasn't very powerful. So I did not bother buying that one, but that is just an option too if you're curious. So this one has a little this, which is cool because that also means you could hang it which is handy I mean, obviously you can hang well all of them except for this one I suppose because this one has a necklace and this one has a carabiner um but that's cool and then let's see where to put the batteries in is there a button on you what the heck oh there we go so this one the benefit of this one is as a bigger space so like that versus like this little thing. This is a much bigger space, but it's not really any more powerful, but it is a bigger space. I do like that. Like this would be nice to just hang. Like you can get like a hook that can go on the back of your seat. Cause I sleep in the back seat of my car. If you guys don't know, I sleep in my car. That's what this whole video is about. Um, but this would be nice cause it's, yeah, it's getting like all of this. Cool. Okay, man, all these are, all these are doing pretty well. This is, these are not bad, these are not bad. And they were all pretty inexpensive. So let me tell you the prices really quickly before we go on to the last one. So I don't know which is which, but, cause three of them say portable fan, but two of them were $5.99. I'm just gonna assume this one and this one were $5.99. And then probably this one was $9.99 and this one was $12.99. But so even regardless, the most expensive one was 13 and the cheapest were six and then one was 10. And so that's like, I'm okay with that. Even if they don't last very long, I'm still kind of okay with that. And so, okay, so let's, let's do this last one right now. This elite misting fan. Oh, this is a pretty fancy one, guys. Whoa, this one already wants to go. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, cool. But now let's put some water in ya. Okay, this one's cool because it stands up. Like it has like a good stand. See? Okay, so turn it on. Fan part's pretty all right. Oh, should we be talking about noises? Honestly, the noise and stuff of like, none of them have bothered me. Okay, all right, ready? Are you gonna do anything? Oh, there we go. Ooh, this one's much mistier than this one. This one is a water gun. This one's mistier. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this video. This is so nice. I said I forgot I had glasses on and now they're soaked. <laughs> so I suck at reviewing because I like all of these. I guess it kind of depends on your preference of size slash price, I guess, uh, slash if you want to be water gunned or not. They're kind of the same. They're kind of the same. This one just has a bigger fan on it. So let's like try them both side by side. Yeah, I almost can't tell the difference. I, this one a little bit, but honestly, it might just be because the water might be a little colder because there's a, like, a, like an ice cube in there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go, this is a little bit more, but like not super noticeable. But as we noticed, the battery on this one did not last very long. So this one might last longer. It's bigger, bigger surface area. Uh, it stands if that's helpful for you. This one you can hang. This one was pretty decent too. Um, and I know some people just like the sound of a fan. Um, this one has like the most calming sound, I feel like. Yeah, like just for background noise, I think this one wins. For like completely forgetting that you even have it on, this one. It's like, it's heavier than a necklace, but like it's not bad. And this one I feel like is a little bit stronger than this one. You know, I feel like my favorite is this one. But they're all so similar. They're all so, so similar. So this review did not help at all, but I do think that, I don't know why I haven't gotten one of these sooner. I think I've looked for a few like 
portable e-fans and then just kind of couldn't find any. I didn't spend too much time looking for them, but I'm really, really glad that I found these. I'm going to definitely use this one tonight or at least one of them or all of them, just all of them at the same time. But yeah, does this was this helpful at all? Probably not, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, so to recap, let's recap. To stay warm, get a really good sleeping bag, like a really good sleeping bag, socks on, hats on, hand warmers. Um, this is, what's a dog? No, that's a bunny? I don't remember what a dog is. Okay, anyway, so, and then to stay cool when it's hot out, uh, just go somewhere cooler, um, but also have ice, and like have water with you so you don't get dehydrated. But then also, honestly, like I just kind of always dealt with it. Like I'm just kind of someone who I'm like, this is just, this is my choice. And so I'm just gonna deal with it. That's gonna be the answer to like a lot of my questions. Like, oh, what do you do when you're sick? I'm like, I just kind of deal with it. Uh, like, what are you doing too hot? Just kind of deal with it. And yeah, again, if it gets like way too hot or way too cold, you can put the air or the heat on for a little bit. But I really do think, and these are, again, this is like $13. Uh, this was like six and I think that it could be really helpful. Um, like, I'm really, really glad that I finally bought these. Again, I know a lot of you guys are gonna make fun of me why I didn't sooner. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed, please do so and hit that little bell notification and make sure that you click all so you get notified of all my future videos. And I guess it's gonna be it. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. So tell me you got